guys? It's Zach here. Uh, doing a video for you guys today. Um, sorry I didn't upload one yesterday. I'll upload two tonight. I'll make two tonight and uh, upload both of those for you guys to make up for not doing one yesterday on Sunday. Um, this one I actually saw from a, a comment someone left on my GNC and Whey Bollock 60 protein supplement review, which is one that I took at the end of the summer before I came back up here to school. And uh, this is from DW061384, and he commented on the video saying, What's up, Zach? When people say in between meals, does that mean eat your healthy fats and fruit between three hours? Can you do a video on the subject? Thanks. Kind of vague, dude, but um, I think you're kind of asking, like, in between your three main meals, is that when you're supposed to get in, you know, like your, uh, your other sorts of macros, you know, like... Um, carbohydrates from fruit or healthy fats, that sort of thing. Um, so that's what I'm going to answer because that's kind of what I think you're asking. If not, um, just comment on this video or make a video of your own and just be like, yo, this not, that's not what I meant. Can you answer this and just be a little bit more specific and then I'll make another video response to that one to help you out more or I'll just like uh, drop a comment or message you or something like that, whatever you like. Um, but basically what I think you mean by this is a lot of people are on the go, you know, they live busy lives and they wonder if they should have, you know, people know that you got to eat your uh, three main meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast obviously being the most important meal of the day, I hope everyone knows that. Um, breakfast is by far the most um, important meal of the day because if you don't get, you know, uh, food in your system the beginning of the day, your body's just going to start burning muscle and fat and you're just going to feel, um, you, you won't have any energy, you're going to feel groggy, you're going to feel tired the whole day. You know, it's not enough to just, just to have a cup of coffee in the morning because all that does is speed up your metabolism and your energy um, intake, and which just makes you tired faster if you don't have a good meal. So the morning time is definitely a good time to get protein, complex carbohydrates, maybe some starchy carbohydrates, you know, half a bagel or, or a bagel or something like that, and then, you know, eggs, that sort of thing. Always healthy, and obviously coffee if you, you know, like your coffee, most people do. But uh, what I think this guy's asking is basically, in between those meals, is that when it's good to have like little snacks, like maybe a banana or an apple, or you know healthy fat, uh, maybe nuts or peanuts, something like that. And definitely, yeah, it is, because you know five to six small meals a day basically means, you know, say you have your breakfast, you have, say, an egg and cheese omelet with, uh, with you know a sesame seed bagel or a multigrain bagel or something like that. And then, you know, two or three hours later, you get to the office or you get to get out of class or, you know, what, whatever you're doing. And say if you have a little bag of peanuts or, you know, a banana or an apple or something, that's a great time to have that with a bottle of water, glass of milk, you know, glass of orange juice. Um, you know, what, whatever it is that you have to drink, you know, obviously water is a great thing to have. You drink a bottle of water, it's going to fill you up for, you know, at least an hour or so. Just, you know, just it's going to expand your stomach enough so that you aren't going to feel hungry. So if, say, if you don't have any food and just a water fountain, fill up a water bottle, you know, fill up a glass, or, you know, whatever you have available or just, you know, take a long drink. It will just fill you up for a long enough before you can, you know, get your next meal in. But definitely, it's great to carry around bananas, uh, apples, oranges, you know, anything like that, or, you know, a little bag of peanuts or um, they have other sort of stuff. They have cashews, you know, even like a bag of pretzels from like a vending machine rather than getting that, you know, Twix bar or... Um, Hershey's bar, get the bag of pretzels, you know, it's a little bit healthier. I mean, it's not the best choice you can have, but I mean, in a pinch when you just need, you know, some food to hold you over, definitely pretzels are more healthy than, you know, uh, fried chips or, you know, something like that or Oreos or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Um, this is a good question by DW061384. Um, and by the way, I know you, a lot of, a lot of you guys, whenever you message me, you write my name, Zach, Z-A-C-K. I actually spell it Z-A-C-H. I mean, it doesn't really make me mad or anything. I don't really care. But I mean, just just so you guys know, I, in every single video I make, I write my name, Zach Sigenthaler, at the beginning. I spell it Z-A-C-H. So, um, you guys can do that or just call me Ziggy. I don't really care. Ziggy's my nickname. I don't know if I if I have ever told you guys why people call me Ziggy. Because um, my last name is Sigenthaler, but everyone screws it up and says Ziggenthaler, like with a Z. So, over time, it just kind of got shorn to like, Ziggy and then Zig, you know, some people just call me Z, you know, whatever you guys like. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna write my name, write Zach. Um, I actually spell Z A C H, but I mean, if it makes you happy writing Z A C K, 
whatever floats your boat, go ahead, go with that. But just in case you didn't know, it's spelled Z-A-C-H, so, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is a good question. Um, definitely great to get your, um, you know, fruit, uh, nuts, you know, basically whatever you have on hand in between those big meals. You know, a meal can be, you know, an apple or, an, or a, you know, an orange, maybe some grapes, a uh, banana, and just a, a bottle of water. You know, that, that's a meal. You know, that's going to fill you up for a good, you know, two hours or so before you can go out to lunch with your, you know, buddies or whatever like that or hold you over before dinner, you know. That's that's definitely a meal. It's not just, you know, a little snack. It's That's, that's filling, you know. So uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you guys obviously have more questions, just hit me up. I'm going to keep trying to make videos pretty frequently for you guys to help you guys out. And, you know, hopefully this video helps. Um, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think about this video and my other ones. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.